as well. Very good. We had a, uh, I had a fun time last night. What I you went, do? I went and uh, I saw uh, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band oh, play yeah. in uh, New Jersey, which uh -huh. was a great show. Right. <laughs> And it's weird because it's weird to see Max in that venue. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we always knew that when we when, when I hired Max, I knew, of course, he's from the the E Street Band. Right. But you know, all those years went by, and I've only known him in this context. Right. So it was really interesting to see him up there. You know, drumming. He did a great job. Uh -huh. Drummed his ass off for three yeah. hours. Literally, they carried him out on a stretcher, <laughs> and uh, they just found his ass this morning. Uh -huh. It was a great show. Uh, and uh, when they when Bruce played Dancing in the Dark, he pulled me out of the crowd and I danced with him. Really? Wow. Wait, no, that's a video. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was it was an excellent show. Yeah, I, I I saw him a few weeks ago. It was a, a really good show. Yeah. Was, was there were you, were there any celebrities around or was it just you? <laughs> no, I don't mean that. I mean you're a big star. Were there any of your of your equal stature? What I'm saying. You mean old happy day stars? <laughs> sure. Thanks, any, Andy. <laughs> any people? Any people from the old match game? Yeah, no? yeah. The the guy from the Ernest movie was there. <laughs> I think there were some people of my stature. Thank you very much. No, I, mean, no, I know what you mean. When I was there, it was like it was star studded. It was like Edward Norton was there and. Uh, Richard Belzer and John Lovett, you know, I mean... Right, no, there was, like, I, I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't see uh, anybody. Mm -hmm. And I was looking, believe me, I'm always desperate to book someone <laughs> on the show. <laughs> Be uh, on the show, please. Yeah, you look like Abe Vigoda, come on the show. <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh -huh. uh, a weird thing did happen, I don't understand what this means. It's not particularly funny, it just, I, I just don't even know what it means. We're watching the show, having a good time. I'm, I, I went with uh, the writer Brian McCann, mm -hmm. who works on our show, a very funny guy, and he came along. And we're, we're watching the show, and at one point I look over and there's just, just this gorgeous blonde woman sitting about three rows down and in about five rows. She's sitting like just right down there. Yeah. Just absolutely beautiful. I notice. I mean, you know, I'm like, you know, hey, uh, you know, and I nudge Brian. Yeah, yeah, I want you to, yeah, check her out. Yeah. 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 Hey, you know what I'm talking sure. about. Yeah. yeah. I think we're speaking the same language. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I see this girl and she's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm like, you know, hey, look, that that woman's really striking, and I, you know, McCann's like, oh yeah, she's really beautiful. We're watching the, they play another couple more songs, mm -hmm. and McCann nudges me and he points to the woman and I look and I go, what? And he said she changed outfits. And I noticed that the woman had completely changed her outfit. I don't mean just like taking off a sweater, uh -huh. but she was wearing a completely different outfit, like a different colored tube top, right, different right. pants, different shoes. I'm like, what is that all about? And then I oh, forget that. I watch for a little while longer. McCann nudges me again. I look down. She's wearing a different outfit again. <laughs> this woman kept going, I think, to the ladies room and, and changing. changing her outfit. And I think it was maybe like, you know, maybe Bruce will see me if I keep changing my outfits. But we were, you know, way back because right, right. Max didn't get us the best seats. <laughs> it's not important. It's fine. Through my telescope, I verified it was Bruce. <laughs> I had a silhouette of what Bruce and I matched the silhouette yeah. to Bruce. I had an astronomer with me. <laughs> but anyway, I just, I, I don't even know what that means. If that woman is out there and could write in or call in to the show, See, I, my... explain what you were doing. Are you insane? <laughs> or are you doing what all the kids are doing now, which is a new fad sweeping the nation, changing your clothes? My, my theory is that it was uh, sexy triplets using one <laughs> ticket. That's, you know. And they were like, oh, I have an idea. Yeah. Let's play a trick on Conan O'Brien. <laughs> You come on, give me Hi, some Conan. Hi there, how are you? All right, like, now let's switch around, okay? <laughs> Hi, Conan. What the? <laughs> yeah, and right now they're at uh, New Jersey's TGIF going, man, we showed him. <laughs> He's an idiot. <laughs> I don't know why I assume she talked that way. I don't... <laughs> she might not, for she all I know. She might not. Marry me. 